this problem is problem number 34 in your solution book a regular hexagonal lamina of sides 30 mm is lying in such a way that one of its sides touches both the reference planes if the lamina makes 60 degree with hp draw the projections of the lamina here if this is a hexagon of 30 mm sides your condition given is one of the side one of the side touches both hp and hp and vp both hp and vp that means it touches xy line like this it touches xy line and the lamina makes 60 degree with hp this is 60 degree with hp this is a condition given it touches edge touches both the planes reference planes hp and vp and it makes 60 degree with hp then let's see how to construct this one here uh, this problem solution is uh, quite different here we need to take one imaginary position first imaginary position in front view that is in on vp okay. first let's construct one hexagon over here so that one of the edge or side should be on xy line to construct this draw one uh, mark one 60 degree over here from this point 60 degree mark over here and from other point also mark 60 degree and take compass is 30 mm radius mark over here Next to continue this, you can use a different method. Here you can draw one 120 degree line and mark it. Then like that also you can do. But here easier way is draw one vertical line. In your grid book, no need to draw. Vertical line will be there that you can use directly. Draw vertical lines like this. And use the same dimension, same dimension 30 mm mark over here and here also. Complete this hexagon with thin lines. thin lines then name the points name the points here this is since it is imaginary imaginary give name as a1 dash a1 dash here b1 dash c1 dash d1 dash e1 dash f1 dash next draw on x1 y1 line here right draw on x1 y1 line x1 y1 okay, this is vphp and this becomes right profile plane this becomes right profile plane here draw on 60 degree line yes 60 degree line next project these points
here these points are imaginary points in side view so this becomes f1 double dash e1 double dash here this becomes a1 double dash and d1 double dash so this point becomes b1 double dash c1 double dash okay Okay, next take compass from here draw one arc up to the 60 degree line next from here also from here also draw one arc up to 60 degree line and these are the points in side view that is f double dash and e double dash a double dash d double dash here e double this is b double dash and c double dash you can connect this with visible line this points next your project these points f double dash and e double dash to f and f dash and e one dash sorry this point and this point this point becomes f dash this point becomes e dash okay, in the same way here a dash and d dash project this a dash and d dash and project this downward okay here also projecting downward here project it downward so you will get two more points over here this is a dash this is d dash here no need to project anywhere this point itself becomes c dash a. okay change it as c dash and b dash now connect with visible lines this is the front view of the lamina Okay, this is the front view of the line. Next, to draw the top view, to draw the top view, we need to draw one 45 degree line over here, same as you did in uh, lines problem. This should be 45 degree. Project this downward. These two points F and E. And here A and D. Here also project this. next here b here b double dash c double dash b b1 double dash c1 double dash to b dash c dash that point will be as it is then here this is a dash 
here a is over here this becomes a this point becomes a and this point itself becomes b and this itself becomes c then d this is d e E and F for here. Connect with visible lines. This is the top view of the lamina. show one of the dimension over here show this angle 